Hello and welcome to the third Linmot AOI tutorial. In this tutorial we'll cover the MAM instruction and some basic sequencing that we can use with this block. And like all AOIs it has a unique name. It targets a specific axis, in this case axis X, which we used elsewhere in the program. The move type is a 0 for an absolute move or a 1 for an incremental move, as we can see in this right AOI. Position is given in units of millimeters, so the left block will take us to an end position of 100 millimeters, while the right block will have us retract 100 millimeters. Speed is set in units of millimeters per second. Acceleration and deceleration are set in terms of millimeters per second squared. A profile of 0 creates a trapezoidal move, while a profile of 1 creates a jerk limited move, and a profile of 2 creates a jerk limited S curve. Jerk units are given in units of millimeters per second cubed. When I toggle this bit, you will notice the motor start to move in the upper right corner of your screen. While the motor is extending the first move, you will see the IP bit come true until the motion has finished and then the process complete bit will come true and stay true until the AOI is activated again. An important difference between the Linmot AOIs and the traditional AOIs is that these run similar to a subroutine, meaning they have to be held true until the motion is complete. If the AOI is interrupted during a move, then you will not receive a process complete or in process bit. Further on in my code, I have created a cycle state routine to keep each AOI active until the motion completes. When the extend motion from MAM4 is complete, we move to state 1010, which in turn activates MAM5. This moves a new value into the cycle state, which activates MAM6 until the process complete bit on 6 activates MAM7. The acceleration and deceleration values may seem large in the MAM block, but it's important to remember that 50,000 millimeters per second squared is only 50 meters per second squared or about 5 G's. And that's an easy motion for a Linmot motor of this size. Thanks for watching this MAM walkthrough.